ENTs are the most introverted of the extroverts. I also have a Twitch channel. Head on over there for more roleplay advice and other fun stuff. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about ENTJs and ENTPs. This is our second MBTI Types video. If you missed the video for the introduction and the history, I will link that up in the card for you so you can go check that out. That's going to give you all of the context for the types that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the two ENT types. MBTI is primarily a workplace tool, so you can use this to figure out how your character acts, reacts, makes decisions, or what they notice in their environment. The first letter of your MBTI type is either E for extroversion or I for introversion. This is your favorite world. Do you prefer to focus on your outer world or your inner world? Those who prefer extroversion draw energy from action. They tend to act, react, and then act further. If they're inactive, their motivation tends to decline. To rebuild their energy, extroverts need time away from reflection so they can get back into the action. The second letter is either S for sensing or N for intuition. This defines how you process information. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in, or do you prefer to interpret information and add meaning? Those who prefer intuition tend to trust information that's less dependent on the senses and more how it connects to other information. They may be less interested in future possibilities. For them, the underlying meaning is in the theory and the principles that manifest from the data. The third letter is either T for thinking or F for feeling. This is how you make decisions. Do you first look at logic and consistency or do you look at people and special circumstances? Those who prefer thinking tend to decide things from a more detached standpoint. They measure the decision by what seems reasonable, rational, causal, and consistent and follows a given set of rules. ENTs are the most introverted of the extroverts. They use their intuition to come up with creative ideas and their thinking to make sure those ideas are thoroughly vetted. Then they use their extroversion to motivate others to help them achieve their goals. The difference between these types is the last letter, either J for judging or P for perceiving. This is how you deal with the outside world. Do you prefer to decide things or do you prefer to stay open to new information? ENTJs are known as commanders. Those who prefer judging feel most comfortable when they have a plan, and they'd rather come up with five backup plans than deal with events as they come, preferring to consider their options ahead of time. Personality types with this trait prefer clarity and closure, sticking with the plan rather than going with the flow. Combine that with their ENT nature of introverted extroverts, and that means ENTJs embody the gifts of charisma and confidence and they project authority in a way that draws others together in a common goal. Commanders are efficient, energetic, self-confident, strong-willed, strategic thinkers, and charismatic. But they're also stubborn, intolerant, impatient, arrogant, cold, and ruthless. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how ENTJs may handle their career. ENTJs are especially well suited to be leaders and organization builders. They have the ability to clearly identify problems and innovative solutions for the short and long term well being of an organization. Having a strong desire to lead, they're not likely to be happy as followers. ENTJs like to be in charge and need to be in charge to take advantage of their special capabilities. They may struggle in low level positions. People with the commander personality type are visionaries and leaders. They may refuse to do day-to-day -day administrative work. And getting that to be recognized isn't always easy, and it may take time. They make great organization builders, entrepreneurs, computer consultants, lawyers, judges, business administrators, business managers, or university professors. 
ENTPs are known as debaters. Those who prefer perceiving are much more flexible when it comes to dealing with unexpected challenges. This flexibility helps them seize unexpected opportunities as well. These personality types tend to react to their environments rather than try to control them, helping them to make their own luck in whatever the world delivers. People with this trait hold that life is full of possibilities. Combine this with their ENT nature of being introverted extroverts, and that means ENTPs thrive on the process of shredding arguments and beliefs and letting the ribbons drift in the wind for all to see. Debaters are knowledgeable, quick thinkers, original, excellent brainstormers, energetic, and charismatic. But they're also argumentative, insensitive, intolerant, have difficulty focusing, and dislike practicality. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how ENTPs may handle their career. ENTPs are fortunate to have a wide range of capabilities. They're generally good at anything that has captured their interest. ENTPs are likely to be successful in many different careers. Since they have a lot of options open to them, ENTPs will do well to choose professions that allow them to have a lot of personal freedom where they can use their creativity to generate new ideas and solve problems. They may struggle as people get to know them. When they're the new kid on the team, their strong personality shows through in ways that aren't always positive. So while they're still making first impressions, they may find some hardships until those relationships are established. They make great attorneys, psychologists, consultants, actors, sales reps, marketing reps, scientists, or engineers. Where commanders are the leaders, debaters make great second in commands as sounding boards for their leaders. So that's ENTJs and ENTPs. Do you have any characters that are of those ENT types? If not, after watching this, are you considering making one? Let me know all of that down below. And as always, don't forget to make it a great day.